Hello and welcome to yet another video of Tracking the Changes, a series of videos which helps you understand what is happening in the digital marketing domain and what you should be doing in terms of practical um, steps to help benefit your business and arguably yourself. Today I'm going to talk about identity and I won't even go any further without first referencing a fantastic video posted by my friend Errol Dobler on the subject. For those of you who don't know him, Errol is a former Navy SEAL, he's a former FBI special agent, all round super duper guy and now he talks and writes about leadership and how we should be um, better leaders, how we can become better leaders in our business and obviously in our lives by making better decisions about things. He's got a book out on a subject called The Process, Art and Science of Leadership. I highly recommend it. I'm going to link to it in the description below. I'm going to link to his video in the description below and really you should actually look at that first before you know you do anything else. And now back to the <laughs> practicalities of, of um, identity. Essentially we tend to think that we know who we are but identity itself is made up of three key constituent components which suggest that it is not as self-created as we think it is. Those components are first our own idea of who we think we are, second the idea of how others see us and third the way we behave based on our perception of how others see us. So obviously parts, a large part of our identity is made up of our perception of external events in the social structure, the people around us, the business we actually deal with and the wider circle that forms our environment. As a result we tend to behave in ways which we don't always understand because we don't always have the luxury of space and time to carry out the analysis necessary to give us the guidance that we need. But I'm going to give you a very quick and very easy pathway to do all this. To ask yourself some really difficult questions. Ask yourself, who do you really think you are? Then ask yourself, how do you actually show that to people who don't know you? And ask yourself also if your actions actually reflect who you think you are. And if any of these things don't align with the others, then essentially you're creating quite a lot of um, cognitive dissonance in your head, a gap between what you believe you are and how you actually act and how you're perceived, and that creates all sorts of issues. This in a nutshell is a whole mystery of identity. There's a lot of more that actually can be said about it. Neuroscience is just beginning to discover the neural and biochemical mechanisms and even the genetic aspects of, um, of our genetic material, of our DNA, that go into shaping who we are and who we become. I will be linking to all of that in the description in the box below, so make sure you check it out. Do start thinking about what I told you because it affects how you do business, how you work your marketing, how you do your branding and obviously how you become who you become in your personal lives. I hope this succinct video has helped a little bit uh, by at least starting the conversation. Don't forget to subscribe, do check out the description below and thank you for watching. Take care.